In this video, I'm going to show you the game reduction meters in Reaper. There's a new feature that's been added to Reaper 7. If you're using an older version, you're not going to have this functionality. Now, the purpose of gain reduction meters is so we could see what's going on with our compressors. For example, I have some drum tracks here, bass, and guitars. If I right click my effects, we could see I have a compressor on my kick, which looks like this. I have another one on my snare. And typically, to see how much gain reduction we're getting on that track, we need to open up the plugin. And we can see it right here. On my room track, I'm using the 1175 compressor, which looks like this. And again, to see the gain reduction on this compressor, we would look over here. But that requires us to open up the plugin to see it. Now, with this new feature, we could see it right on the tracks, on the meters. So if I go to my snare track and right click it, we can go down here to meters and choose display gain reduction for plugins that support it. This feature is only going to work with compressors or limiters that support this feature. So if we choose it, now if we look at the meter on the snare, We can see in yellow, we get a gain reduction meter. If we make it bigger, if we go to our mixer, we'll see it here as well. This meter over here is for volume, and the meter over here is for gain reduction on a compressors or limiters on that track. Now to quickly put it on all our tracks, let's select them all. Let's go to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and type in Gain to the filter. There's an action right here to display gain reduction on our track meters. Double click it. Now we see those gain reduction meters on all the tracks with compressors or limiters that support the feature. If we go to the mixer, just makes it easier so we don't have to open up our plugins to see the gain reduction going on. And we could also see it on the master meter, just right click and choose it right here. Display gain reduction for plugins that report it. And now we'll see it on this meter as well. And again, if we want to turn it off as we're not using it that often, select all the tracks, go to the action list, and just double click this action to turn it off. Now we're just seeing volume meters on our tracks. Now, if we want this feature on by default, we can go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, go to the track send defaults and just choose it right over here. And now if we create a new track, it's going to have the gain reduction meter on there already. Well, if we don't want it, just turn it off. And we could put it on manually each time. Select all the tracks, or just the tracks you want it on. Double click this action, and that feature is back on. In the track control panel, and also in the mixer.
Again, this feature has just been added to Reaper 7. So if you're using an older version, you're not going to have this functionality. But that's pretty much it. That's the gain reduction meters in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.